All right, it's my birthday. Let's you fucking do this thing. Hooray! Mostly because no, 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 no. I've I have made a mistake. Return load game. There's load game. Main, oh yeah, load load game. There we go. I clicked new game and I was like, no, no. We must not start again. Okay, so we have exhausted all of the options in camp. To we have, to we talk have with. talked to these people to death. Nobody wants to talk to us anymore. Thank goodness. Oh yeah. Let us go. I'm gonna leave the camp and come back one more time. Okay. All right. So now our next move is to go to Everburn. Everburn. We are in theory finishing. No, we have to go to the Citadel. Oh, do we? Okay. All yeah. oh, right, and then s skip. <laughs> Castle, I assume. Probably. Are you prepared to send... Majesty, are you prepared to send the Grand Army against Foss in the Everburn Mountains? I'm actually going to check the audio sources. Yeah, let's uh, make sure people can hear us. Yes, we are pulling from the right microphone. We would not want to miss a single word of this. No, it's more that any time I have to unplug the microphone for a work call, mm, yeah. um, I have to check. All right. There's no turning back after this. Oh, yes, yes. All signs point to final adventure. Send for my battle armor. We're going to war. Ooh, I wonder if she changes clothes. Maybe she wears armor. Breza smiled and pounded her chest. I dig it. No, it's just like a... Yeah, yeah, no, I like, I like gorilla style much better. I like the idea that the Amazons, when they get excited, pound their chests like gorillas. Jesus. Y yes, ma'am. Loren turned to her mother, standing behind her. You will be queen when this is all over. That's strange to me. You didn't accept the Ember Blade either, but it needs you. This world needs you, and your people need you. Most of all, I need you to replace me. Loren frowned, but she bowed her head quietly. Karen, Karen stroked her hair once. The motherly touch struck Loren's very core. When she raised her head again to look into her mother's eyes, she stood as an adult. Good. Good. G yeah. Both nations. Is she like 18? Is that something we've missed here? That Loren is like... Oh, maybe? That would explain her very limited view of politics. Yeah. Mm. Both nations had recognized the might of Loren, the Amazon princess. They granted her power over their nation's armies, combining them into one. She was now the supreme commander, higher than both General Ashtray and Samael. With Saren as her second in command, he rose in rank as well, but is still technically chattel. Also, I'm excited for the uh, like this turning into an RTS where we build giant robots. This is not. Brutal legend. No, it's Supreme Commander. I have Supreme Commander. This would be a much better game if it were Supreme Commander. <laughs> yeah, no one could have been prepared for what was to come. Not even Loren. Loren has demonstrably been not prepared for almost anything that has happened. <laughs> oh. Chapter 4. The March, March on, on Everburn. Everburn. Oh, look. Oh, that was the ab armor. Is that our, like, endgame armor? Oh, I hope so. That we oh, wear me too. Me less too. clothing. The Grand Army marched under Loren's orders across the plains of Erevorn toward the Everburn Mountains. The demons had already begun to wage chaos outside their territory. Is that a thing to do with chaos? I, I was wondering the same thing. Let's move on. <laughs> Creatures of every level of depravity headed massed forces so thick they pierced black clouds on the horizon. I... Depravity is not threatening in that way. Like, I'm imagining, like... I'm listening. Go on. Like, mostly orgies of demons, not war. Like, depravity is... Yeah. Bad. Yeah. But it's not, like... It's not an act of conquest. Yeah. Okay, so um, what I'm interested in is that it's every level, right? Yeah, like, so there's, like, first level depraved, which is, like, 
like peeping toms. Mm-hmm. But but zero is also a level. I mean, like in England, we, like, we start but, at level. We, we but, tend to but, start but, at first level. But, but, but like on the in the conditions of of like in a continuum of of depravity, like we have to recognize in that continuum. No, it's zero. No, no, right. This is this is every level. Um, that is that's dis- discrete. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. it's that's... not a continuum. It is discrete you're right, steps. You're right. Um, which I I'm not saying there is no zero, but there is. It is not a continuum. So I like I would argue it could easily start at level one or zero. That's whatever the Fair. minimum is. Fair. And then it goes up in probably even steps from. Okay. There. Okay. Good talk. Yeah. Uh, Loren watched her troops span the entirety of the plains before her. She stood proud as she shouted to address them. Oh, here we go. Today we begin our march into the wicked lands. There will be evil, there will be death and blood and sheer terror. There will be your darkest nightmares and your greatest fears. But and I will be standing at the back to make sure you do <laughs> Remember, not run. You are there to destroy it. You are righting those wrongs. You will be justice itself. You will be justice itself by extinguishing their lives. Oh, yeah, there's not a um. In their wake, there will be glory, hope, peace. There will be good again. I mean, things were fine for us, but you. Oh! She took out her sword and pointed it toward the sky. It was a beacon that spoke more than any of her words ever could. Good, because she's not a particularly strong orator. Its light pulsed across Loren's skin and on to Saren standing faithfully beside his princess. <laughs> and Saren is also there. The dull roar of the demons behind her had become undeniable. Before they could even begin to confront Foss, they would need to cleanse the world of every last demon. Audible sigh. Loren gave a roar of her own, signaling a charge. Her sword cut forward to aim at the demons. The army moved. She looked at Saren by her side, and they gave each other... Yeah, let's just start with the big one. Yeah. Party set up. Uh, that ain't gonna do... What? No, no, that's exactly what we want. Oh, yeah, What's What's he not do? Yeah. Um, Uh, Notice that Loren and Saren are no longer a requirement. Huh. What if that means we're gonna need to split the party at some point? I bet it does. Alright. Um, um Mirth. Um Yeah, Kambara. Yeah. Yeah, because I guess our B team is these two Ramus Ken and like one of them. Probably Dora. Yeah, she's better equipped, I think. Uh, or both of them, actually. And we leave trouble behind. Mm. Like that? Yeah, probably. Alright. If we need a straight B team, yeah. Alright, what do we got here? Demon Beast A. Resistant to all the things, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. Fire Demon, Earth Demon, Water, Hellhound. Good talk. We got these things have so many fucking hit points. They're also several levels higher than us. All right. Well, let's kill that hellhound and. Uh... Buff. Uh, buff. Hey, look at us be happy. Oof. Mirth. Uh, entangle. Yep. Sounds good. Yeah. Oh, we nice. S- we slowed like everybody. And she's now got uh, dark damage is probably not her jam, but water is probably pretty. Water's good. doing all right. What's uh, fire do to this line? Nothing exciting. Yeah, let's, let's knock down that hellhound. He'll die fast. Uh, Draco, on the other hand, well, let's focus his fire on that hellhound. But I bet if he uh, is more direct with his ice storm, we can kill that hellhound. But if we hit it with a two instead, we need a we need a one. Mm, okay, then get everybody. 
the Hellhound will die with whatever. Um, next. Oh no, because we, we oh we don't have an air demon. This actually I think works out to a bit better, but it's less damage to the Hellhound. All right, let's... Yeah, and Hellhound is the next one to actually. Uh, and Mukiki defend, and Saren will kill him. Yes, she that's the right. Him. Yes, because I always click the wrong ability. Yeah. Oh yeah, and it's so fast he can punch the Hellhound. Yay! Uh, I guess water. Yeah, we we'll just keep going. Yep. And Ren. He does shit tons of damage. Maybe this is where we start getting the real loot. <laughs> Yay! Saren killed the thing. Ooh, we're gonna need some heals soon. Uh, yep. Uh, Kamara has no heal spells. Um. Yep. Yeah, because of what it does to the fire. Uh, uh, does he want to heal himself a little bit? Yeah, Just sure. Like a low Let's level, level one. Like a two. Yeah, that seems great. Feel good about yourself. I think she's got a water as well, right? She can kill the fire. Uh, singing swarm air. Mm. That'll do pretty well, though. It'll put us in striking distance of this guy. All right. Oh yeah. And he's tired. Ooh. Bet Lorraine can use a superpower, but why bother? Yeah, she could chop off his head, but she could just kill him instead. Oh, six. <laughs> All right, so now what have we got? That it's a one, yeah, it's eighty-three a one. to ninety-six. They're all the same. All the same. Yeah. So. Just... Yeah, and Loren just trashes this guy. Right. Let's see. I don't need the exciting sound effects. All right. Yeah. Sixty gold pieces. 27%. We only have to do that two more times. That's not how math works. Three more times. <laughs> Yay. Yay. Run it back. Yep. Open with healing Loren, though. Make sure she doesn't uh, end up dead. Yep. Buff. Uh, yep. And now we've got just, like, earth, air, and water. Oh, good, because we get lots of fire. Yep. Slow them all down. Tangle those weeds. Oh, oh disappointing. Uh, Kambara. So we've got fire. Oh, that, that is water damage. So no, we want fire damage. On the front row. Uh, uh, Draco. Draco, you're good at fire. Let's make fire happen. Yep. Yep. Uh, defend. Yep. Let's just go after the weak one. She um, might be able to kill middle guy. Yes, she can. Away. And <laughs> Saren's, Saren's gonna have to do a bit of healing. Beating. Um, I feel like we want to have Kambara just start going after the back row. We've got tons of turns before yeah. they even get close. Yeah. Uh, By fire, yeah, is going to do... That'll yeah. get rid of that guy. Get rid of Kiki, yep. Yeah. Yay. Run. Saren, heal himself. Himself, yeah. Um, uh, Mirth? What do we got? I guess, uh, she, she could... She could throw down a general heal if she's not doing a meaningful amount of damage. I mean, she does a meaningful amount, right? Like, that's like 400. Okay, yeah, yep, yeah, yep. Yeah. That is more than a random... Actually, she that should. puts front row guy in... In striking distance here, yeah. Yep. Yeah. Alright, beautiful. No, go soft. Don't waste his spell points. Yeah. Partly because if we can get Saren in, he can heal up and Kiki. Yeah. Yay. 
Yay. All right. Yeah. <clears throat> I mean, hooray! This is fifty-six percent of our goal. Let's yep. run it back. Saren has a recover MP spell too, doesn't he? I believe that he does, yes. Alright, because he will need that. Yeah. Uh, thank goodness our wizards do not. Ooh! <laughs> uh, let's get you to throw a group heal on, every, on everybody yeah, in the Yeah, it's going to be a long time until Saren gets to do anything again, so yeah. yes. God, she's so many of them. She's frozen too, so. Mm. Uh, start with that front row. Water. Uh, um, yeah, that seems to be doing. Fire. We can take out that hellhound quickly. We might be able. Yeah, we can probably take out that hellhound before he gets to go. Water again. Ice storm. What about? What if we focus fire on it? No. No, so, yeah, it's not general, an appreciable yeah. di difference. I hope this is and there's a powerful... Ah, uh, but he slowed him down enough that Amukiki gets to punch him twice. Uh, do we... Oh, do we want him to punch twice, or do we want him to shield up? Oh, yes, we do want to shield wall. But, he can still punch twice. Oh, <laughs> yeah, that was enough. Uh, let's not bother killing It's dead. Him. Yeah. It's, it's got a... Dot. Oh yeah. So we're gonna start on this ward again. Hooray. Ooh, we are taking some damage. Yes, we are. Uh, Saren's up here. Yep. So if he but... can keep them up, then Mirth can throw another heal down. Um, let's, let's make sure that Earth Demon dies. Because it's the next one to go. I don't think we can do 800 damage to it. With even, even with all those people. I think it's worth a try, yeah. but I don't think we can do it. Alright. Like, 800's a lot. Yes. Um, but what do we got here? Water. Or fire. Oh, water. There we go. Yeah. Yeah. Run. Saren's got to throw a heal on the round. Yes. Right, like there's no... That's magic points. Yeah, it's because he's just like out. Yeah, he's out. So two, but that's still a whole bunch. Mirth uh, two. Yeah. There we go. Yep, just in time. Punch. And now Draco's got this. Draco Ice Storm. So we can Ice Storm? Or we can Firestorm. Firestorm will kill both. The yeah, the, the, the yes, creatures that is better. Room. What about air? Air will kill both the creatures. In, oh no, it won't kill the uh, water. Yeah. Demon. All right. Well. Oh, they just swapped. Well, that's very rude. Yeah. Uh, Kamara's got a water attack. Yep. Crazies. Stabsies. Yeah. And it's not gonna matter. Yay! Yay. Eighty-five. So fifteen percent left. We could go with a medium group. Medium group will probably get us fifteen percent. Let's run it back. Saren's opening move is to MP himself, though. He cannot. He cannot MP himself. All right. Well, items. Thirty will probably do. Yep. Mirth. What do we got here? Air, earth, fire, and a demon beast. Water's probably our best bet on that front line. Uh, 
shield wall up. Right? Yeah, we don't have any... Yeah, no, he's, he's uh, fine. Actually, we could throw a... An MP on her? Yeah, because her and Kumbara are both pretty low. Yeah. Uh, Mukiki is already shielded. So let's just start the beat down. Let's just complete the beat down. Um, I guess we can hit it for 140. It goes next. Yeah, we don't we don't need to throw high level spells at it. It's... Yeah, like I think that we just staff it. Yeah. Um, maybe heal our front line again. I was thinking actually throw an entangle down. But yeah, the group heal seems pretty legit. Yeah. Uh, Sarah. No, he's out, but yeah, he's, he's Saren is super he's, useless, but he's uh, replenished all our spellcasters, so he's not that useless. Um, there we go. Oh, we should actually just stick the back guy. Whatever, he's only got four hundred points left. Huh. Yay. Alright. Now, uh, please tell us that that was worth 15%. Yes! The demon army had been ravaged, and the survivors began to flee. Ravaged, again. Not the word I would have... Yeah, no. Like, it's not routed, wrong. It's routed, just... Routed, yeah. It's literally a word for beaten so badly that you run away. Mm-hmm. Hold, hold. Loren withdrew the troops to regather for their next assault. Following the creatures blindly would have been a mistake. With the demon's ranks broken, the dwarven city of Hammer Time was now revealed in the front of them. It was likely overrun with demons. Why didn't we hear about that? Saren found his way to Loren's side again, catching his breath. Mirth and Apollo Michelle approached her as well. I made a mistake. You have walked up. What now? The dwarven city. We must reclaim it. Otherwise, we'll have no legs to stand on if we run right into their territory. Who knows what they have in store for us in those mountains? Everything we don't want them to have. That much I know. I should know we've been focusing our efforts on killing Forst. As the only demon holding their army together. But how should we even find him? Wouldn't he be in the castle atop the highest volcano? In the completely obvious place. That is where they ex would expect you to look for him. We could just waste men's lives charging into that castle. Ah, divination. I wish it was strong enough to work here. I could search for him that way. I could help you with that. I will lend you all of my power, but would that be enough? Hey! I think a wizard as powerful and as ye could give you could give me what I need to use my divination. L li literally, we have like six wizards around us. Why did you not mention this earlier in our adventure? Yeah. <laughs> that we could just, like, juice you up. Sorry. Uh, we need to take back hammer hands, no matter what. Yes. I'll order the, uh, the army into formation short. We need to march on these demons before they have time to recover. We await your orders. Take back hammer hands. Fight more demons. Audible click, sigh. Click on more things. Oh. Everyone awaited Lorenz's march, march orders. Her march orders, distinct from her May orders. Uh, Saren wandered around the troops, wondering whom to spend his time with. Until it was time to move out. So, I appreciate the writer being like, yeah, who and whom are different. But, wondering with whom to spend his time. Yeah. But, 
or who to spend his time with. Uh, so, so this is presumably where we have to pick our romance option, right? I, I'm assuming so. So, I guess it's Draco. Yeah, right? We're all I'm, I'm, like, I'm ride curious or die with about Draco. what Kambara has, has to say, but I am, I don't, I think it's Draco all the way. Before Saren could begin to start looking for Draco, he was nudged by the fire mage. Hey. Uh, also, nudged by the fire mage is my uh, Dragon Force folk rock band. Mm. Saren looked over at him and smiled, seeing he was still showing his ears freely. Mm. Nudged by the fire mage is my Dragon Force ASMR mm. video series. Hey. They stood silently next to each other for a while. Saren was unsure what to say with him to him after how shaken he'd been before. So Saren took hold of the mage's hand and they watched the army assemble around them. How romantic. Please tell me Look that Look at all these the first thirsty murderers. That's the end of the... What? That's actually... No, I, I totally yeah. dig that. Alright. Right? It's like quiet. It doesn't go... Oh, it isn't overdone. There's no fucking elaborate boning scene. The inside of Foss's helmet glowed red. That sounds really uncomfortable. Yeah, why why well, is it? Well, why like is space, it doing that? Space helmets on TV all the time. They have the lights on the inside that would make it just a pain in the ass to see. Yeah, the illuminating but, the faces. But they're like, but... we have to illuminate faces because how television lighting works. Yeah, so we need to be able to see our actors. <laughs> Uh, and he, as he stared down of Loren, at Loren's army re reforming outside of Hammer Time. They reclaimed that city. They would soon be in his territory. But he knew that it was not yet over. Soon their army would be in his hands and he, they would play by his rules. You were totally right. There's a whole bunch of Foster Logger monologuing that still needs to I'm happen. still hung up on why the fuck does the inside of his helmet glow? <laughs> so here's, I guess, the better... To see his not face that's so, not so, there? So here's the better he's question, a, right? Justin. Foss is a, is, a, is a living suit of armor. Yeah, there's nothing a inside demon it. Demon possessed. He has so no face to The illuminate. inside glows red. But what does he see out of? He doesn't see out of the inside of it, right? Yeah, no, yeah, because he not he isn't inside it, he is it. Oh my god. There's so many questions that I really hope they don't take the time to answer. <laughs> A demon teleported into the room, collapsed on the floor, and tried to breathe. Which was real hard, because they're in a volcano. Foss looked behind him and saw that it was Jewel. My master. Foss said nothing and turned back around. I failed you. Grob. It's a, it's a hard single word to get out right. Mm. The, the green goblin suddenly appeared in the room. Once he realized where he was, he bowed his head humbly. Yes, my lord. How might I serve you? You're intelligent. My master so says. But the only... Fucking hell. I can't get the... Crikey. You've been the only one I've been able to truly rely on since my return. Jules, still barely alive on the ground, looked up at Grob with venom. Well, I need you to serve me once more. Yes, my lord. I... I can serve you, lord. Kick her into the Please. volcano. Huh? Grob looked down only once at Jewel before disappearing of his own will. What about me? No me use for ya. Succubus was left stranded on the cold floor as Foss this is left not the a room. Cold floor. <laughs> <laughs> Literal <laughs> lava. In your pools. writers and your art team are two different teams and and don't like someone missed an email there, right? Yep, yeah, yep. Yeah. He retreated to his hidden lair. The army marched toward Hammer Time. The city was already in ruins, but the central keep was still standing. The entire city was being occupied by demonic forces. I have questions. So an occupation, like, implies that you want something that they have, right? Like territory or... or... Yeah. But these, like, what did the demons want like apart from terror and death 
In which case, it wouldn't really be an occupation. Yeah, it would just be a slaughter. Yeah. Like, they're, they're occupying, it implies that they're keeping the people there alive to serve them in some, in some manner. Loren was in the front lines, leading her troops right for the city gates, or at least what was left of them. As they approached, magic bolts were shot at them by demonic creatures. But Erevorn had crafted many bows and had many archers. Ashtray signaled for their thousands of arrows to fly. Many demons were struck and fell from the walls. There are many guards in the castle. Many. They were the able best to... D&D games I ever played. We asked exactly how many, and then we killed them all. Nice. They were able to charge the city without much resistance. The true fight would be inside the dwarven walls. The army flooded into what was left of the town square. Each soldier impaled... Are we going to have to do the hammer time thing again where we split the party into two rescue groups? Oh god, I hope not. Each soldier imp- soldier is solider. That's why that didn't track properly. <laughs> yep. Impaled the closest demon. Uh, the death cries of hundreds of demons were music to their ears. Jesus Christ. Familiar sound from above broke through it all. Loren looked up and saw griffins circling overhead. What? Why are they here? She pulled her sword from a dead demon and scanned the skies to see where the griffins were going to land. She navigated through the chaos, shouting Saren's name. He heard and followed her. The giant bird beasts landed just outside the city. Loren and Saren ran up to them as as Brezen dismounted. Princess Loren, the citadel is under siege. Oh, for fuck's sake. Loren locked up. That was impossible. By the demons? We are the demons. The demons were in Zayu all along? <laughs> yes, our, our forces are holding back waves of goblins and their pets. We won't be able to push them back alone. Princess, we need you to fly back with us to the Citadel immediately. Otherwise, we may lose it. No, that won't happen. The Citadel will stand strong, just as our great mothers designed. But you can't leave, Loren. You're needed here. Oh, right. I will go. I am technically still a fucking queen. Why didn't they ask me? And look behind to see Karen. She raised her head high. I will defend my home and my people. 100% dies. M- my queen. Mother. Listen, you need to stay here, win this battle, take back everyone, save the world and all that. I will liberate the Citadel and find you before the battle... Before you battle Faust, I promise. You can't do this by yourself, except I was going to do it by myself. But I mean, let's be honest, one of us is vastly more formidable than the other. I mean... Just because I'm you not, let some complete amateurs stand I'm not, me out... I'm not saying who it is. Also, you... Yeah, you, great. I don't have a sword of destiny. That's fine and all. It's not rub it in. <laughs> I'm going to go do this so you can stay focused on your saving the world task. Accurate. <laughs> Lorraine looked over at Saren, her eyes glistening. Which, she, which is what eyes typically do, actually. Like, when they don't glisten, that's worrisome. She feared for her mother's life, but what were they What they were doing was more important than even just the Citadel. The entire fate of the world depended on the battle here. I like that she's got a sad Lorraine face. Mm. Mm. Oh, God, we get to make a choice! Uh, well, let's see. Let the isolationist, slave-owning empire potentially fall. Or save the world. Seems like a pretty obvious one. Yeah. Let her go. You're needed here. Please. Loren groaned. Uh, She didn't want to let this happen, but she knew she couldn't resist it. I like the groan is reaction. Like, ugh. Yeah, right? It's like... Fine, I'll save the world. Corinne raised her chin and nodded. She said nothing as she and Breza lifted from the ground on their griffins and became specks in the sky. Honestly, what is one person going to change in either fight? I mean, you say that, but let's be honest. Loretta's a killing machine. Fair. She's our prime. She has always been our primary DPS. Although I will admit, no, Draco has been our yeah, primary DPS. I was gonna say, I will admit, if we could send one person, I'd probably send Draco, especially from the back of a Griffin. <laughs> a 
is so much Can easier we... from up here. It's just no one shoots back. <laughs> <laughs> Deadly like, oh, inferno. Are we done? I guess we should go back then. Yeah. Can I stay on the roof? We're just. Can I stay on the Griffin? <laughs> Never want land again. What's Draco doing? Um, so he beat both armies, and now he's doing sick donuts on the Griffin in the parking lot. <laughs> it's, it's really not what anyone expected. The cries from the city were hard to ignore as they ran back inside to continue their fight. This city belongs to the dwarves. Oh my god. Uh, yep, 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 more of that. Run it back. Oh, this is this is a, the the definition of a whatever. Oh look, it's a fight that's easier than the ones we did before. Oh, oh they rallied. They rallied. Well, we can we know how that works, and there's six of us, so our rally is more powerful. Also, it lasts longer. Yeah. Uh, um, water. Uh, I was gonna tangle. Oh yeah, she doesn't have water anyway. Yeah. Yeah, we just locked up two of them. Um, this she has water. water. Yep. That front row is going to be really unhappy when Draco goes. Oh, look, Draco goes. I was going to say not even bother with the back row, but... Um, yep. I guess we just shoot. Like, this um, thing's going to die on its next turn. No, because we don't want Loren to waste her turn. Oh, that's right. She's next. Yeah. Hit so it. Loren is the best thing to do against that guy. Yeah. Followed by an Amakiki, followed by an Loren. That is the end of that team. Yep. Yay. We took one hit. Loren's army poured into every street of the city and fought back the demons with great force. The Dwarven Keep was in the middle of the city and the most important building to hold. Well, shit, let's get to the Keep and crush their goddamn filthy skulls. A monstrous screech fell from the skies above. We weren't expecting it to be the farewell of the Griffins, but it was far from it. Oh yeah! They looked up to see a massive winged creature fly over, its shadow engulfing them. Uh, what's that? It's a drake. I was hoping for a dragon. No, no copyright problems. You can't copyright dragon. You'd be surprised. It's from ancient Greece! Yes, well, talk to the wizards of the coast. I've never seen one so big so before. Wow! Don't be impressed. It's gonna eat us. The drake did not land, however. It kept circling above, sporadically darkly darting down to attack the army. Fear of the giant, giant creature was palpable. That's a weird sentence. Mm -hmm. Ignore it for now. Our priority is the keep. They rushed forward through the fray, just as they had not too long ago when battling Khan the last time we did this. The site they found was none too different. Just, just as before, swarms of demons were blocking the entrance, <laughs> hanging a lantern from windows, the fact that it's repetitive. Dangling out from windows and parapets, slinging rocks and arrows and more offensive magic. They immediately dove into the foul ranks and started taking lives. Jesus. Oh. Alright. Alright, well, yeah. Punch a... Uh... Do, 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 Rally. Uh, this is an earth demon this time. Yeah, well, let's entangle him up. Slow him down. Oh, nice. Uh, I think we still go with water. Yeah, we still go with water. Because two hits of water, Draco will end those hellhounds. Um, do we want to go? Yeah, make sure we, let's, yeah, let's get rid of the hellhounds completely. That's, this'll do it. Yeah, because the amount he does to uh, back row guy is not really worth Yeah, it's, it's basically negligible. Oh, Saren, buddy. Uh, three, I guess? No, two. He's he's just below. Oh, yeah, he doesn't have that many hit points. Uh, we're in. Oh, I healed him. Oh, uh, can she? Oh, look at her cool superpowers. What does her chop the head off do? Critical hit. Um, if it has under 50% hit points, there's a 30% chance of an instant kill. No. That still no. does a shit ton of damage, though. Yep. I just stick it. Um. Throw, like, a minor heal in the row, maybe? Sure. Yeah. He's not doing much. Stab. Yeah. 
just. Um, none of this really yeah. does any damage, right? No. Like 85 to 98 versus. Like it's effectively the same amount. Yeah, it, th this is waiting for Amukiki and Loren to press. Bam, there we go. There we go. Hooray. Yay. 